Ocean Drive Magazine has put out a limited edition this month in their Art of the City issue featuring the work of famed muralist and photographer Peter Tonkey. Tonkey creates art with a giant Polaroid. Yeah, a uh, camera popular in the 1970s, but now it's virtually extinct. And one of Tony's pieces is being auctioned off for charity today and tomorrow. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo talked to him at his studio and gallery in Wynwood. You're looking at an exhibit here at Winwood Walls Art Studio called Giant Polaroids. It's by artist photographer Peter Tunney, who uses this large, rare, old Polaroid camera and turns the photos into modern day works of art. This is really the last working giant Polaroid camera around. Um, it was developed in 1979. It's a large format Polaroid. You peel it off. People don't realize that. You peel it off. You wait two minutes. It's a miracle. It was the best. And it came into my life a little over 20 years ago. And I've just been consistently shooting giant Polaroids because I can and because it's the most fun you can have in photography. Tunney is one of a few artists who have used the giant Polaroid. Andy Warhol did it years ago. He has shot more than a thousand Polaroid photos. That begins like this. This is what comes out of the camera. Isn't it cool? So cool. And with his cool and creative eye, Tunney creates art like this and this. So we were thinking about Warhol and I had a pack of Marlboro cigarettes and I did the old trick of cutting out Marlboro and writing Warhol. That's the M, of course. Uh -huh. And <laughs> then I photographed that with the giant Polaroid camera. And so this is the actual Polaroid. And then I collaged a little bit on that. The giant version is priced at $40,000. So well, I always like to say I'm trying to make a million dollars out of an old cigarette pack. I mean, I'm getting there, by the way. I'm getting there. But uh, <laughs> that's good use of materials. And that's my favorite thing to do is make trash into treasure. For this piece, Tony used the giant Polaroid to take a picture of a woman and then something on his jeans inspired him. At the end of the day, I had taken a picture of my pants right here, two square inches, and I saw it on my iPad. And at the end of the day, I just said, you know what we should do? Let's double expose you into my pants. Last picture of the day, one shot, that's double exposed into my pants and you can see the jeans. This piece is this month's limited edition cover of Ocean Drive magazine. It's part of the magazine's Art of the City initiative, where the magazine chooses an artist who donates a piece from his collection that benefits Artists for Peace and Justice. It's a nonprofit helping to serve the poorest communities in Haiti. It's an online auction at panel8.com, and the money we raise from an auctioning off Peter's work will go to benefit Artists for Peace and Justice. As for Tunney, whether he's photographing his employees or superstars like Nick Jonas and turning them into expensive works of art, every day is a gift and every picture a new beginning. Well, I'm just trying to make stuff and become a better artist, and I've been working on that for a long time. I'm not there yet, but working on it. And remember, you can own this original piece of art by Peter Tunney. Go online at paddle8.com and support Artists for Peace and Justice. That auction ends Thursday. In Miami, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News.